Hi all, welcome to the next in the series, Understanding and Using Act. Today we'll be looking at a very handy feature in how to create a drop down list to choose from. I'm sure you've seen the little drop arrows next to cells where you can choose from a list of names or uh, whatever it might be um, and it's really quite simple to create. So let's see how it's done. First of all you'll see in sheet 1 I have a list of names Tom, Mary, Sue etc and I want to create a drop down list in cells A1, we'll say down to A10, so that I will see a little arrow just to the right of the cell from which I can choose the, uh, uh, which I can choose one of those names. So, a drop down list can easily be created by using the data validation command in the data tab and then going to the data tools group and clicking on data validation. As you've seen, the list in this demonstration has been created in column F. I'll show you how to hide that column if you don't particularly want it to be seen. And bear in mind you can create a list in any other worksheet in the file. So let's see how it's done. First of all, I'm going to say that I want a drop down arrow to appear in cells A1 to A10. So the first step is to select the cells. Then I go to the data tab and click on data validation in the data tools group. Up pops the data validation window and in the settings tab I want to allow a list. Excel says where is the list? I'll just drag that window out of the way a little bit and I click in the source uh, text area and then I simply drag down through the names in the list. I then click OK. What that does, quite simply, it puts a little drop arrow next to the cells that I've selected and I can choose any name now from within that particular list. Remember I selected down to A10. Once I get outside of that selected range, the arrows are not available. So bear in mind that the drop downs only appear in the cells that I selected. I could of course select the entire column if I wanted by clicking on the column heading. To hide the column with the list in it for appearance sake I could right click and then simply click hide. So I right click on the column heading and click hide. To unhide the column I select the column headings either side of the hidden column, I can see the F is missing, I right click and then unhide and there I can see the list again. I'll click away to remove the selection. So that's how easy it is, nothing difficult about it. Um, remember to subscribe uh, to the channel where you'll see lots more hints, tips, tricks and procedures available as they're added. Thank you for watching.